Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and into a non-international rugby weekend we go. Unfortunately, the end of the rugby championship means that uh, there's no international rugby until November. However, if you are a rugby fan, still plenty of action to keep you entertained over this weekend. The URC really getting into full flow and uh, it's been a bit of an up and down start for the South African side. You all entered the fray last weekend. A couple of them are swing box back for this weekend as the Lions and the Bulls try and go back-to-back -back wins in the opening rounds, whilst the Sharks and the Stormers look for their first wins of the tournament. And we have a little look at the table and the fixtures and sort of see how things are going to play out over the next kind of month, because the URC can't be won in October, but, uh, you know, as the old saying goes, it can definitely be lost, and you don't want to be going into those sort of November internationals, three, four losses down, um, and teams could already be sitting, you know, 15, 20, even 25 points up ahead of you so a very very important couple of sort of period of it is because you feel that certain sides can uh, spring together a couple of really good performances and get three four wins and then all of a sudden you can be seeing sort of 20 points 25 points after the first four or five rounds and you're kind of almost halfway where you need to be in order to make sort of get yourself into the playoffs about 50 points should get you into the playoffs before we look, look at uh, the log and the fixtures for this weekend please do smash a like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well All right let's have a look at this the log after two rounds, and uh, Leinster currently leading with a uh, 10 points out of 10 uh, Cardiff as well. Two bonus point victories to start their campaign off, so those two sides off for the perfect start. Um, further, further down, Connacht um, lost last weekend, as did uh, uh, the Glasgow Warriors, and um, yeah, big, big, big results uh, in the last couple of weeks for um, like so Zebra, for example, you find themselves in sixth place. That is correct. They beat Munster uh, in the opening rounds of the URC. A massive result for them. And I'll tell you what, let's hope that's not the first uh, and, and only win of the season for Zebra. Because I'd really like them to see them uh, sort of start to compete. But, uh, I mean, it's a very early stage. You've got Lions. Um, they got maximum points last week. A bonus point win over Alta, who sit tied with him on the log. Bulls managing to get four points, but no bonus point over there. Uh, Sharks. The solid eight points. Thomas at the bottom of the log with zero points. Benton, Scarlets, and Edinburgh all without a win so far. As well as the Dragons out without, without a win so far this season. Apologies, the Dragons have one. So yeah, Edinburgh, Scarlets, Benton, and and all and Sharks and Storms all without a win. And they have picked up a couple of uh, bonus points there. So if we look at the fixtures for this weekend, everything starts to uh, tonight. It is Scarlets versus Connect. And uh, it is a home game for Scott. It's kind of sitting in 13th place. Looking to try and uh, get a win over Connacht. And this should be a very interesting game. Cardiff against the reigning champions, Glasgow Warriors. Uh, Cardiff, who are two from two. But this will be definitely their sort of their, 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 their biggest test of the season so far. Saturday, the Lions will host Edinburgh. It's a pretty early kickoff, quarter to two over at Emirates Airline Park. You think in the heat of the day, altitude will really play a big part in this. Uh, as a Lions fan, expect to try and win this game. You've got to nail on your home games, especially when you're at the Lions and the Bulls. You've got that sort of altitude advantage, and you really need to make it count. So if the Lions, are sort of, as I mentioned, sort of string together a decent run, they can very much put themselves into playoff uh, potential, whereas last season we started pretty slowly and then sort of started getting going towards the end of the season, almost got a little bit uh, too little too late. Uh, Elthor traveled to Loftus. Uh, after going down to the Lions last week um, in, 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 in a pretty heavy defeat, they'll then uh, take on the Bulls. Benson versus Leinster. You do expect Leinster to get the uh, job done, and uh, Benson not, um, not quite so hit their straps just yet this season. The Sharks will need to, uh, to respond, and the best sort of way to do that is to go and beat the Dragons. Not the best side. Similarly with the Stormers taking on Zebra, these are very winnable games for the South African side. So we could potentially be looking at a South African queen, uh, clean Tweet this weekend. I personally think all of them will be targeting wins. You know, Dragons uh, are, are an improving side, but a side that the Sharks should beat. Uh, whilst the Zebra did beat Munster Arrow at home, it is a team that Stormers would expect to beat. And with the Lions and Bulls having home advantage, also two teams that they'll expect to beat. And then the final game of the weekend is at the same time as the Stormers game. It is Munster versus Ospreys. Munster with that sort of banana peel result against Zebra. I mean, they finished first, top of the log last season. Zebra actually finished last. So, massive loss for them last weekend. But they got the perfect opportunity to test themselves against a really good Osprey side, which deserved their victory against the Stormers. Uh, John Dobson mentioned the fact that they are, you know, the best team in the competition. And if we look at sort of further uh, down, for example, 
Uh, after this weekend, the Bulls and the Lions do go overseas. So that's going to be a big test for them. But, you know, for the Lions, for example, I think Dragons are a winnable fixture. Bulls versus Osprey should be a good result. Stormers and the Sharks do remain overseas. But if you look at then further down into October, we then see uh, the Sharks back at home against Glasgow Warriors. Stormers back at home against Munster. Two difficult games, but home advantage is a big thing. Lions taking on Zebra, as mentioned, that should be a winnable game. Scarlets versus Bulls also probably should be a winnable game. So if I'm a Lions fan, I'm looking at the next three games saying we've got to win these next three. And if you win those next three and you pick up a bonus point here and there, you could be sitting on you know, 18, 19 points after the first four rounds. And if you look at the table, for example, last year, uh, the Lions ended up finishing just outside with a total of 50 points. Uh, it was tied 50, by the way. And, and, and two years ago, that would have been enough. So... You know, considering they played 18 games, got 50 points. If you can be sitting around a 20 mark, uh, even if they win the f sort of five games in a row, for example, be sitting at sort of 23 point mark after five games, that is almost sort of half your job done with regards to getting their playoff spots. And I think the Lions are a side that should be looking to try and make the, the playoffs this year. I think they're good enough. I think they've now got some really good, uh, exciting players. You've got some Springbok experience as well, looking on the radar. So, yeah, hopefully this is going to be uh, their season. But uh, Sharks, for example, will be expected to finish in that in those playoff spots. Storm has had a bit of an iffy season last season. And the Bulls, desperate for silverware, just haven't been able to find it recently in the last few years. So uh, it's a big campaign ahead for them. Let me know what your score predictions are for the different games down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.